Okay, for this next exercise uh, on stroke effects, um, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques, and then I'm going to want you to use your imagination, use some creativity, and create some of your own ideas um, from this. Um, but first, you should make sure that you open up the um, directions that are uh, in, the, in the Word document so that you have the directions right next to you as I go through um, this part of the demonstration. So if you can, you can notice that what I started doing was I made a star. And make sure then that you're going to open the stroke, um, the stroke options. You might find it over here on the right, or if you don't see stroke listed over here on the right, go to window and you will see stroke in window. So you get your window or your, excuse me, your stroke dialog box up. So I have my I have my um, um, object selected, and I'm going to add kind of a thick stroke on it, about 12 points. And let's take a look at some of these options. Now, the the main options that I'm really interested in you um, you seeing are uh, the weight options and um, the join uh, the the edge options as well. And then we'll go down to the dashes down here below. So just for just for the, uh, the, the to see this where it says miter limit, go over here to the right, and this is the one that's on right now. The miter miter means what you see at where the points turn, and if I click on the round, you can see where the points turn. You have a rounded edge, and then over here, of course, you have a cutoff edge. So you can choose whichever thing, whichever edge you might find interesting. I'm going to choose the rounded one just for the sake of doing it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker so, so you can see what happens. And I'm going to now click on uh, the align stroke. Now notice what happens. Right now the stroke line is right in the middle of the black stroke. If I click on align stroke to the inside, you can see it puts the stroke right on the inside of the path. If I choose outside, it puts the whole stroke on the outside of the path. So for now, I'm going to go back to my center line, but I'm going to go back and change some things in a minute. Now I'm going to go, go to my dotted line. So there's some options we already know then for the stroke, uh, stroke effects. If I go to the dashed line and I click on it, notice what happens. It goes to a dash. And I've got these little options here that say dash, gap, dash, gap. Well, two points, it says there's a two point and then there's a, a, a a very small gap. Well, I'm going to change this to three, or, or let's say six, so you see what I'm talking about. And you can see it puts more space between it. So now I might say I want eight to be the size of the dash. And you can see now that some are bigger and some are smaller. So now I'm going to go to two, just to give you an idea of what happens here. And you can change these or add all of them. And then notice what happens if I make it bigger. It kind of gives it kind of an interesting look on the outside. And of course, now I could go back to align it on the inside or align it on the outside. And if I don't like the way that looks, maybe I'll go in here and tweak this a little bit to C7. Let's see if that works. My goal is to try to get that. And then maybe I maybe this is a time when I'd want to go back and use the cutoff or maybe even just the regular one. And you, if you play around with the numbers that are here, um, so if I say six here, then it will change these here and these these uh, the points and how it fills it in. So you might have to, like I said, you might have to go in and kind of play around with some of these to get it the way you want it to be, or or to um, to get it uh, to work for you. So if I make maybe put eight here, and I put two here, and I put eight here and two there, and then I put eight again here, and then maybe two here. You get the idea. You can actually then get some really interesting effects. And of course, again, I can make it larger. I can, if I have it selected, I can make it larger. And of course, I could make it inside or on the middle again. So what I'd like for you to do now is notice on your directions, I'd like for you to go ahead and make some additional shapes, five, adi five additional shapes, and put some different effects on them. For instance, possibly use some gradients um, and some squares or triangles. Try some different shapes and do um, five additional techniques using the stroke palette. So when you're finished, you're going to have six techniques, just like in the directions. And then what you're going to be doing is you're going to save it as stroke effects and email it to me. Thank you.